Hey guys, how you doing today? It's me, Kelly. Today we are going to make some texture paste or modeling paste or molding paste, whatever you want to call it. Um, we are going to be using uh, white school glue. We are going to be using baking soda, water, and some paint. Now I got tons of requests to do this. I have um, a couple of these on my channel, some older ones. And, you know, just... I'm going to say it because, you know, I don't want to get any crap, but this is not um, going to be uh, archival, as they say. I do these things for people, you know, who are uh, starting out in mixed media, art journaling, ATC cards, whatever, or do not have a lot of money to go out. Um, I am in, with the belief of, you know, unless you're making something that you're going to really sell, that you're going to be worrying about you know, the archivalness of it. Um, I've been doing this stuff for, gosh, 50, over 15 years. Um, and I started out using white school glue. I have art journal pages that, um, you know, I've been, I've had for years and years that have not turned yellow. Um, I know some people are against this kind of stuff, but this is how I like to do it. This, I want everybody to experience art at whatever level they are and whatever financial level they are. If you can afford golden and Liquitex, by all means, please do. Um, you know, I've, I've used, um, I use folk art. Folk art has a fantastic texture paste uh, that's not too expensive. Um, but yeah, for those of us, you know, who might be, you know, very tight on money um, or able to not able to leave the home, whatever, you can go to the dollar store and get these items and, and make your own texture plate paste. And it's fun to do with the kids too. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. I have just white school glue. And I'm going to squeeze about two tablespoons. Now, this is not an exact science. This is going to be whatever texture you want to end it up being, if that makes sense. Now, I also did one where I used eggshells. Again, not archival, but fun. And it's fun to do with the kids as well. And it's just fun to do, you know, for yourself. So... Now I'm going to add in a little bit of, this is just your normal baking soda. And on my um, YouTube here, I will look it up. I don't know, it's been a while. I did uh, do texture paste, modeling paste using baby powder as well. So you definitely can uh, go check that out and you can substitute baby powder for the baking soda. But I have a lot of baking soda, so that's what I'm using. Now, I'm just using probably about a tablespoon of baking soda, I mean, of water. Again, don't worry about it. It is going to be, you know, what it's going to be. You want to mix it up. And you can see. I'm going to have quite a few videos coming up with white school glue because I get this requested a lot and I get it you know kids going back to school you can get this you know you can get these this at the dollar store you can get it on sale now with the kids going back to school you can get it inexpensively they have it everywhere now for the slime so you know okay so you can see this is let's see how I can go loss it's quite thin it's like I'd say it's a little thicker than milk so I'm going to add a little bit more. This is why I do not bake. And what you're going to do is get it to the thickness that you want. Because that's essentially what we're doing is we're getting this thick. And I'm using an old, um, what is this called? Chinese soup, you know, whatever you get. Fried rice soup container plastic but of course use you know, use a jar use your old spaghetti uh, sauce jars or you know whatever and you can see it's getting thicker and of course you can use less water I mean you can you know I'm gonna use this you guys really got a kick out of I got a couple uh, emails the other day on when I used the um, spray that I made <laughs> I really do use it I do use the stuff I make and I'm very fortunate that, you know, I, uh, 
working as a plaid ambassador and that kind of thing, I get fantastic products from them. But like I've said a million times, I've been using folk art and plaid for years, as long as I can remember. So, you know, I am very lucky to have their texture paste and all, but you know, I do, I've used this stuff. Okay, so you can see it's getting thicker, a little thicker. And if you want, you can add a little bit more glue. Now, I don't know if I'll be able to show this. Hmm. I have a piece of paper here that would, what is this? Yeah. Okay. This is a piece of uh, black. Let me just show you. I'm going to scrape. Now, make sure you scrape whatever you use so you get all that in there. And you're going to want, if you're a baker, which I'm not, I love to cook, don't like to bake. But if you're a baker um, and you make dough or cake or whatever, they sometimes tell you to leave things sit. Um, and what that is going to do for you, and I would leave this sit just a little bit, is all the particles of the baking soda or powder or whatever you're using. You can use Plaster of Paris. You can use whatever. Um, you can go to your local hardware store or big box store and get plaster, uh, I mean, uh, spackle and use that. Um but you want to leave it sit so like all the particles get absorbed by the uh, fluid in here. Fluid, what an icky word. I'm going to do a little bit more. And for me, there's no, you know, I just, then I can have it. <laughs> if you want a little bit more texture, maybe you have a little bit of sand around, right? Or very um, gravel. Get a little handful of gravel from outside, rinse it and put it in. Or sand or like even the eggshells. You know, if you want a little bit more texture, you can use glass beads. You can use little seed beads. I mean, really think outside the box and what you have, um, you know, that you can use. Okay. I think we is good. Okay. So we have that. Now I'm going to take, let's take this. So I have it sitting here. And I'm going to take some, like I said, I would leave this sit, but I'm going to take a little bit. You can see it's much thicker. And, you know, you want to kind of go smaller. Less is more, as they say. This is probably not what I want to spread it with. Use my, there we go. And this is how you test it. And then lift it up. And look at that. Okay. Oh, excitement. Okay. I get excited over the silliest things. Let me show you. Look at that. Okay, now I'm going to dry it with my heat gun. Now I'm going to want it a little thicker. And I'm going to remember that once everything gets absorbed in, it's going to be a little bit thicker as well. But here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to just hit this. Now, use your, your heat gun. If you don't have a heat gun, use your hair dryer. Or you can just leave this dry. I just want to get it because then you know it'll, it'll become more opaque. Now I've not added white uh, paint in here yet. I'm going to show you the difference. Now remember, let's say you have a couple containers and you want different colors. So then you can put this throughout the containers. Maybe you have the small containers. You go to the dollar store. Maybe you have empty. You know whatever, you have a bunch of these, you can make them different colors. So you can see this is without white paint. Some is dry. You can see it's pretty, pretty, uh, pretty opaque, but I'm going to take just some regular white and I, I want it white. I can always add more paint of a different color if I want it. So I'm going to add that in there and you can see already it's thick. And I'm just going to stir this in. Obviously, the more the you know, the more white, the more opaque. I'm just gonna do a little bit, just to show you, and that'll make it a little thicker as well. I always scrape and stir, scrape and stir. Okay, now let's do it again. So you can see. Okay. 
you see I'm putting a little thicker. Okay. Oh, come on now, Kel. That was my fault. User error. here because it's going to be a mess if I don't you want to make sure you wipe it up uh, as you go give me a paper towel okay oh look and you can see the white you know how much whiter it is so I'm going to dry this and I think this is all I'm going to do until I know, like I said, leave it sit for 15, 20 minutes. You can already see that it's it's uh, thicker. You can al already see as well that the chunks aren't as bad in this one as the other one. If you are familiar with the glass texture beads, the golden cells, um, and they're really just little plastic beads, you can definitely do something like that. I have millions of uh, little beads and that kind of stuff, seed beads. And if you go to your local craft store, even your dollar store, you can get, you know, very inexpensive. Okay, so let me show you. I get excited over silly things, but look. See that one? So, I can see it's a little thick there and needs to dry. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to wipe this off. So look, it comes off very easy. You can run it under water. You can um, just wipe it with a baby wipe or whatever you whatever you have okay la, 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 la. And what we're gonna do and you can see already look at it how it's thickening up it's really thickening up so that's exciting i love it love it love it let's take let's take some of our spray that we made And then I'll take a, let's see, do I have a dilution sitting here? Yeah, I'll go ahead. Okay. This is the mist, uh, the, what's it called? Like a faux glimmer mist I made. Can you see? Going in there. It's not going to be bright enough, I don't think. There we go. Yeah. Oh, I love it. And look, look at the texture. Can you see? Can you see that texture, the difference? Look how cool. Oh, I love it. I'm gonna dry it. Now this one I love because you can see that glimmer mist I made in it. Oh, that looks gorgeous. I hope you guys can see. I don't know. Let's see. Can you see in there? Oh, the sparkle, the sparkle. And you can see it's not in this one yet, right? But let's spray it. Let me really shake this. And get that glimmer mist in there. I'll link the video at the end of this where I made the sprays where you can make your own spray or glimmer mist. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Look at that. Oh, love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Oh, gosh. Love it. And then this. 
It's just with acrylic paint. Dab it because it's a little much, Cal. It's just, oh, I love it. I can't stand it. So you can see, I can see her in play. Don't mean to, but you could see how that definitely gives it thickness and texture. And it's just gorgeous. So if you want it thicker, if you want it thinner, totally up to you. I'll definitely use it in a scrapbook page to show you, you know, the full effect of it, but come on, that's gorgeous, gorgeous, hard, it's like sand, you can hear it, oh, love it, love it, love it, thrilled to death, so yeah, so that's how to make your own homemade texture paste slash modeling paste, molding paste, whatever you call it, so much fun. Um, let me know if you guys make it. Leave me a thumbs up if you enjoy these videos and please share me everywhere. I appreciate it. And if you just happened upon me and you're not already and you would like to be, please subscribe to me. Click that button down below and then click the bell next to it so you get notified when I upload, which is usually five, six times a week. I love doing these at home homemade products uh, for all of us just to play. And even if the kids like I said, maybe you have golden and that kind of stuff and the kids want to play, but you don't necessarily want them to play in your golden or Liquitex or whatever you have. Um, this is fun for them to make and play with as well. So I love you guys. And as always, please be kind to each other. You never know what battle somebody else is fighting. Progress, not perfection. I love you guys so very much. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.